Wow, wow, it has been three months. And I would hope you guys have heard the news, but Zodi is back. So let's do our intro. What do you know? Roll it. Yo, Yo what's, what's up, guys? guys? It's Zoe. It's Cody. It's, it's Zoe, Zoe back, back today with another, another YouTube video. video. So we haven't uploaded in three months, and obviously the reason for that is because we weren't dating. And now that we are dating again, we're gonna start back up the Zodi channel so you guys can look forward to us uploading on this. Wow, I love that for you. <laughs> so like I was saying, we haven't uploaded and now we are going to be start uploading. I want to say twice a week on YouTube. Hopefully, I, I'm not going to set any standards, but we're going to be posting as much as possible. So make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you like this video, and make sure you turn on post notifications so that you guys can see whenever we upload. So what we're going to be talking about this video, it's going to be a sit down video of us talking about kind of what we went through in our relationship and all the problems we went through. Obviously, you guys saw all the drama, so we're not gonna talk about all that, but we're gonna talk about like stuff after the drama. So there's been so many comments saying that like me and Zoe's relationship is such like an inspiration to other people that have gone through the same ex experience that me and Zoe went through as a relationship. We wanna give you guys a little bit of advice about like our whole situation. So I'm gonna skip all the drama because you guys already know all that. So I'm gonna start at the time where we were taking a break. There was a point where me and Zoe did not talk for like a month we had no contact with each other, we had each other blocked, and that is called space. We gave each other space, and we let each other go down our own path, and that's a really good thing. The reason why that's a good thing is because while we were gone, we realized that we really didn't need each other, and that we couldn't last without each other, which is a sign that you are really in love with someone if you can't, you know, get them out of your head after, especially being a month without them. So we want to let you guys know that the first thing in a relationship, if it's not going well, is that you need space. Second thing is that you guys need to slowly come back to each other and realize of what you did wrong and what you did correctly and what that person doesn't like and what the other person doesn't like. And you have to slowly work on those things together. Zoe lied a lot and sometimes I would yell and raise my voice. So we physically pointed out what we did wrong in the relationship and we slowly started to work on those things and it slowly perfects the relationship. So that's why it means that we took so long is because we were, we were perfecting the things that we did wrong. So I, I don't like, I haven't yelled at you and so long. So long. So I haven't called Zoe in a lie in so long. There has been no drama in our relationship. One thing that we always worked on was drama because like Zoe would go to other people and talk about our relationship, which was a huge problem because, you know, she's just talking crap about me when we would fight and not the good things. And I would do that sometimes. I would talk to my guy friends saying like, yo, like she did this, it's kind of messed up. So we really wanted to put our relationship between us. One thing in a relationship is that you, you kind of got to keep to yourself a little bit. Obviously, if something is terribly wrong, you go and tell your friends and get advice. But when it's such like little arguments, your friends start to change your opinion on that person that you fell in love with. So I would talk to my friends and I would tell them the only bad things that me and Zoe went through. So they had such a negative opinion on Zoe and they'd be like, yo, break up with her, break up with her. And same thing with Zoe, break up with Cody, break up with Cody. And that causes so much problems. So you kind of have to keep to yourself in a relationship. Obviously, if you know something is wrong, like cheating, for example, then that's, you know, that's not acceptable. Yeah, that's when you go talk to your friends about asking for advice, like what to do. But when you're in a whole relationship with someone for what, like we were in a relationship for a year, we would fight instead of talking it out. What you should always do is never yell and argue, just talk it out. The reason why I brought that up is because we could even do a series on this of like, showing you guys how we worked on a relationship and I think it could be like such like a important thing to other relationships since we have such a powerful voice especially in the in the social media industry that we could help so many relationships out there and really you know prove to people that it is worth it on waiting and taking and giving your space and taking your time on, on a relationship when you're in a relationship with someone and you're having problems it shouldn't be like you do 50 percent and they do like two percent it should be 50 50 you both work out your problems at the same pace anyways let us know down in the comments if you guys do want us to do a series like that working on our working on a relationship i think it'd be such a beautiful series especially on the zodi channel that we can help out millions of other relationships a lot of comments are going around talking about Zoe, so I'm gonna have Zoe kind of like talk about this subject, so here it is. Hey guys, it's Zoe. Um, I'm basically just gonna be explaining to you guys about all the hate that I've been receiving recently. It's been obviously going to Cody as well. I've been getting a lot of hate comments about how I cheated on Cody, um, and that's the whole reason why we broke up. And I just wanted to explain to you guys that I've changed as a person so much since that had happened and obviously it's been months ago not even over a year ago yet but what people don't really realize is that you guys are behind 
a screen. You don't see me changing as much as my friend group and Cody and just my family does. Oh, she's just gonna cheat again. Like once a cheater, always a cheater. Honestly, I do not believe that the once a cheater, always a cheater thing is true because you make your own decisions in life and you make your own choices. And I made the choice to do that. And I can make the choice not to do it again, which I'll never do again. It was too, too much for me. And not even just that, but it was wrong in so many ways. It hurt Cody, it hurt me, it hurt my friends. Like I lost a lot of friends from that. And it just sucks that people still think that I would do that. Not that type of person anymore. And I've changed so much that even a lot of you guys have been saying, I've seen Zoe change, like I see her, I've seen that she's been changing. Like you guys have been commenting on all my stuff. I highly appreciate that because at least you guys can see that I'm changing. I'm not gonna be that person anymore and I know that I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. So I'm very confident about this. Like I know for a fact that like I got Cody back for a reason and I'm not gonna lose him again for a stupid choice and decision that I make. It hurts me really bad that I still get comments about like, she's just gonna cheat again because after all the pain that I went through, uh, the pain that I caused Cody, like just losing everything and all the hate that I got, like I don't know why people would think that I would do that again, especially considering that I love Cody so much. It just didn't get into my head until I lost him completely. And that's what I really want you guys to understand. I love Cody so much and he literally means the absolute world to me. Like I would take a bullet for that boy. Like I don't think you understand. Like I, I love him so much that just like the thought of you guys thinking that I would do that again just tears my heart into pieces because I know that I wouldn't do that. And now it is time to talk about like kind of my opinion. I was just thinking really listening to the whole thing and I want to put in a few things. So I want you guys to know that you guys aren't the ones that got cheated on. I'm not talking to like our supporters. I'm talking to the haters about this. I want you guys to know that I'm the one that got cheated on and I would not get back into a relationship where I would think that I was getting cheated on again, that I would get cheated on again. So I want you guys to think this is why I took so much time to myself to really think and elaborate on how much time I really needed to put into this relationship. After, you know, six, seven months of waiting, I, you know, Zodi's back and, and we're ready to be stronger and better than ever. You guys aren't the ones that got cheated on, so you guys shouldn't be worrying about our our problems if we're happy right now let us be happy that's kind of what this whole video is mostly about is i want you guys to remember that it is not your relationship it is my relationship and it is zoe's relationship it is our relationship which we're including you guys in this and all we want is love and support back and, and it's completely fine if we get hate everyone gets hate if you're one of those people who commented that on our on our post saying that you know once a cheater always a cheater I want you to remember that I'm the one that got cheated on and I'm a pretty smart guy and I would not get back into a relationship where I would think I would get cheated on again. And the past six, seven months, Zoe has been changing a lot. She's getting better at not lying. She's like, Zoe hasn't lied in a, a whole minute. Like, and we haven't argued in almost two months. Like we've had an amazing time. There's not been any like discomfort. We've all just been comfortable the whole entire time. And that's all that matters. If I'm happy, and she's happy, that's all that matters. It is no one's business to put down a relationship that is trying to go strong and be better than ever. Anyways, besides that, we wanna thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys are giving us. Literally, it's insane on how much people are supporting Zodi right now, so we just wanna take the time and appreciate you guys for supporting us. We would not be here without you guys, and we want you guys to always remember that. So like I brought up at the beginning of this video, me and Zoe are starting to upload again on this channel. Obviously, I will, I will be uploading on mine, and she'll be uploading on her still, but we're gonna be uploading on the Zodi channel again. So if you guys wanna leave any comments down below of any video ideas, let us know, and, and we'll do it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video at least a little bit. I know it was just like a really messy video, but I hope you guys do like and subscribe and be ready for tomorrow's video. So if you guys do want to see us do a series on working on a relationship, you do like episodes of working on a relationship and perfecting a relationship because that's exactly what me and Zoe did. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Zoe out. Peace out. Today, we're on our way to go meet Zoe Laverne. Are you famous? Oh my god! Hi! I'm so excited about it. <laughs>
I started Social Tour because I wanted to do like a real experience and have more time with my supporters and get back on the road. Without them, I would not be doing this. My supporters make me so happy. Like literally look at this. Like they literally take the time out of their day to spend hours on editing me and making me feel confident. The amount of time that they give to me, I want to give to them on tour. Go follow Social Tour and go get your tickets right now because I cannot wait to hug and meet you all. And if I don't get to hug and meet you all,